Hi, this is Nathan, your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guy. We're going to be reviewing Secret Service today by Data East. Uh, please look for a written review underneath the description of our YouTube videos. Like, like, and follow us on our social media formats. But let's go ahead and get this review underway, shall we? First things first, Secret Service Data East. Three flipper setup. You got your in lane left right, exit lane left right. Third flipper, as you can tell, is middle table to the right. Yeah, targets going up the left side as well as your modes to the middle, which basically on this game of this age, you just have your one to 64K bonus, and you also have your three, uh, two to five time bonus multiplier. Of course, you got your lights to the bottom, spy again, bonus hold over. Uh, third flipper goes to a special shot up to the top, habit trails to your left side, comes out to your left flipper. There you go right there, boom. Coming around, got an extra ball out of that. And also we have a magic post in the middle, which popped up for that shot, and it went up and, and locked, but released the ball from the other side. You have a kick out beyond that third flipper to the right. There it is, it's just not engaging. You have a orbit, which is to the top right side of that third flipper. Pop bumpers, columns to the top. You also have a bullseye target shot to the left side. You have another shot to the back of the flipper, which goes into a box right there to kick out. Not too bad. Theme is what you'd expect of a game of this age, of course. Theme's there, obviously call outs. There's not necessarily any call outs on this, but it, it's got music to play. Ball speed's not too bad on it either. I mean, for it being an older, older game, it's not too shabby. So call outs are okay. It's what you would expect from a game of this age. No real music. It's got music, just it's more background music. Art is what you would expect as well. Obviously, it being Secret Service. I love that shot. That is the shot that makes this game right there, is that, that shot. Third flipper shot to have a trail to lock, drop it to your left flipper. Very fast off the orbit. Replayability is actually there on this game. I mean, this game, for it being as old as it is, it actually has a lot to do and a lot to shoot at, and it's got a little bit of flow to it. Although it's blocked to the center there with your target score, which is 10K. You also have your spot hideout targets to the third flipper right there. Not too shabby, not too shabby at all. But anyway, we rate this game at 8.6 out of 10 based off of what we're playing right now. And the reason for that is the gameplay is actually not too bad on this. Fun factor is again, not too bad. It's a little, it's above average, it's 8.6. Could the music integration, call outs and so forth be better? Yeah, without a doubt, obviously without a doubt. But all in all, for an older game like this, this has a lot to do, a lot to shoot at, and it keeps you engaged. Moderate difficulty on it? So there's that lock there. So you have a lock beyond that third flipper, which basically is a box. The ball goes into it and traps it to the center. And it's a 25K plus advance. So now we're going into a multi-ball. So now the ball's been locked and our magic post is up. Not too bad. 8.6 and we are sticking with it all day on this game. But anyway, please look for our metrics underneath the description of our YouTube video. Until next time, it's your neighborhood arcade and pinball talk guys. Signing off. Thank you again.